This Toyota Camry needs a full AC system recharge. After repairing it from a deer impact, we had to replace the AC condenser. You can still see little bits and residue of that damage. So we need to fully recharge it, which is a bit more complicated than just topping it off. We'll hook this up to the high side. And one thing to note is you can't hook it up wrong. The high side will only fit on the high side and the low side will only fit on the low side. The low side's a little deep, but it's in here. And we'll open these up. We'll open the high side. With both of these closed, you can see that both of these are reading zero. So if I open this up, you don't hear anything hiss out. They're both at zero. So the system is completely equalized. Make sure both the high and low sides are closed. The yellow hose we're gonna connect to a vacuum pump. The yellow hose goes up here to the center of the manifold gauge. Turn on the vacuum pump to start sucking a vacuum. Now we'll open both sides of the gauges. And when you do that, you'll hear the pump bog down and it start to pull vacuum. We'll let this run for a little bit. Typically it'll sit just right at or a little bit below 30 inches of mercury. This step is important because what we're doing is we're fully evacuating the system of any moisture and air that's in there. And moisture is what really can damage your AC system. So this step is really important. The longer you can let the pump run, the better. But I'll probably let this go for maybe an hour or something like that. You don't need to go all day. I've had the vacuum gauge running for a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is close the high and low sides. Shut off the vacuum pump. Now look at where your gauges are and remember that this is pretty much right at 30 inches of mercury. So I'll let this sit for a little bit, maybe a half hour, and we'll just watch and if this needle drifts back to zero, we know we have a leak in the system, it should stay rock solid at 30 and if it does, that means our system doesn't have any leaks. After the gauges have sat for a little bit, this is still rock solid right at 30 inches of mercury. So we can go ahead and turn the vacuum pump back on, open these and let the pump run for even longer. It's been running for about at least an hour now. So again, close the low side, close the high side, shut off the pump. Unscrew this and screw on our can of refrigerant. Screw this pretty much all the way down, at least till you hear that. I like to go all the way down until it just gets a little bit hard to turn then turn it back about one full turn. The name of the game is to get rid of as much moisture as you can. And this yellow line would still have some air in it since we had to disconnect it from the vacuum pump and hook it up to the refrigerant. So I'm just gonna take a pick, a screwdriver. Fortunately, all I have right now is a stick. I'm gonna push this Schrader valve and push it until refrigerant comes out just a little bit. Whenever we refill the system with refrigerant, we keep the red side, the high side closed and then we'll open the low side. And keeping in mind that both the high and low sides are open on the car, and that just lets us get a reading on both gauges. So when both of those are open on the car, we can see what the pressures are doing here. Start the car. Turn on the AC, I'll bring this all the way down to max cold, and just turn the fan on low, that should be And good. hit the AC button. Now open the low side, which will start introducing our refrigerant, and you'll see it starting to flow through the sight glass right here. Now what we just saw was the pump kicked on, the compressor kicked on, it's continuing to suck the refrigerant in. You see the low side pressure coming down and the high side pressure starts climbing up. So right here we're at a little bit, about 15 PSI and then we're at creeping up on about 65 PSI here. And we'll continue to put refrigerant in until we reach the specified amount. Typically, somewhere in the engine bay, you'll have a sticker that will tell you how much refrigerant you need to put in. This says right here, a max of 1.32 pounds and a minimum of 1.1 pounds. And you can do that conversion into ounces. 1.1 pounds converted to ounces is 17.6 ounces. We know that one can, and if you read right here, it's 12 ounces. So we'll put one can in and 5.6 ounces out of the other. I'm aiming for the minimum pressure, which is 1.1 pounds. So if I overshoot, I still have a little bit of buffer before I get to the max. Eventually this can will get really cold. And I wouldn't necessarily recommend setting it right on the engine, but you can at least take your hands and warm it up and you'll see that pressure continue to go back up. Take our temperature gauge, put it right into the vent so we can read what our temperature is. Already I can feel the AC getting cold. And you'll continue to see this cycle repeat of the pressure will go up 
and then the compressor will kick on. See, the compressor just kicked off. Our pressure's going back up. You'll probably see more refrigerant flowing into here until your can is empty. I see a little bit in there. And then soon, that compressor will kick on right there. Low pressure goes down, high pressure side will go up, and you see refrigerant flowing in. We got everything that we can out of one can here. So I'll close the low side, open this up all the way so it releases the Schrader valve that's on the can, and unscrew this. And it might hiss just a little bit, but if you got all the refrigerant out, it'll just hiss for a second and then stop. down again. Now we can turn this back on and open it up. You'll see refrigerant continue to flow in. And that's about all the refrigerant we need to put in. We'll turn it off here. Our temperature gauge is reading 40 degrees, so it's blowing cold air, and the outside temperature is 67. Now you'll have a can that you didn't use all the refrigerant in. You can unscrew this all the way back up. And these new cans that you buy all have a Schrader valve on the top. So whenever you unscrew this, it's safe to just unscrew this can. It'll hiss out a little bit, but it'll stop and you can save all the refrigerant that's in there. Now there's definitely some refrigerant in the yellow line here. So I know some's gonna spray out from there. That's it. And turn off the car. Close the high side, close the low side. Once you have that closed, pop it off. And the low side's real deep in here and disconnect the low side. There's still a little bit of pressure in the gauges, so with them just hanging down, I'm just gonna open it. That's how you do a full recharge on an AC system that has no refrigerant at all.